We are the Gujarat Technological University. Since its inception over a decade ago, GTU has been empowering young and curating minds to realize their true potential. Over 4 lakh inspired students are enrolled with one of the premier academic universities in India. With more than 450 affiliated colleges in its fold operating across 5 zones of the state, GTU, the International Innovative University, your place to move forward. So hello friends, hope you are all well at your home. In this lecture, I am going to discuss a topic that is related with industrial engineering subject that is of 6th sem mechanical engineering. Now the chapter name is entrepreneurship and the topic from that chapter is different sources for industrial finance. Now here what this topic tells us about is whenever you are starting a new venture, if you are becoming an entrepreneur. So initially you will be requiring some kind of funding or finance or money that is one more one important aspect that will be needed right so how to get this finance how to collect this money from different sources that we will be discussing in this tutorial so let us move further basically whenever you are requiring this money you will, we can classify this in three types one is a long term financial need second is medium term financial need and third is short term financial need now this long term financial need includes the finance that will be requiring for around 5 to 10 years right this money includes the finance that, re that is required for uh, buying land for your venture or for uh, infrastructure the money that is required for equipment machinery labor all that you can include in this long term financial need that is a large amount right then second is medium term financial need now this medium term financial need includes the money that you will be requiring whenever you want to uh, develop your organization that will be included in a future scope after establishing your uh, organization when you want to develop further then you will be needing this kind of money and basically the time that will be around one to five years duration for medium term financial need. and the third and last one is short term financial need now this includes the money that, it, that will be requiring in less than one year, zero to one year. Now this money is some kind of expense that you are you have not predicted. There will be some money that you will require that is unexpected. You have not planned but something happens and you will be requiring money. Those are included in this short term financial need. So these are the three types that you can classify for financial needs. Now let us move to some elements that tells us about sources how to get the money right so first source is equity financing now what is equity financing here what you a company will be doing is an entrepreneur will be uh, representing or presenting his idea to some investors and investors will be listening to him and based on his idea what they will do is they will invest, invest some amount of money in that entrepreneur venture right so whenever they are investing this money they will be becoming certain percentage of owner of that company for example so a person is uh, or one investor is uh, investing some money then he will be becoming 10 percent owner or 5 percent owner based on the investment right so in equity financing after investing the money the investor will be becoming certain percentage of owner of that company based on the amount of investment that is called as equity financing so the entrepreneur will be getting some kind amount of money to grow his business right that is a first source that is equity financing then one more source is debt financing now this is similar to equity financing but the there is small difference in debt financing the investor will be investing some money in the company but after investing after invent investing 
he will not be get, uh, getting any kind of ownership here in equity financing the investor was becoming owner to certain percentage but in debt financing the investor will not become owner but he will be getting some amount of interest based on his investment for certain time interval right he will be getting some amount of money or interest for certain time but he will not be becoming the owner that is called as debt financing then one more is preference shares now here the preference share gives the advantage of both of these equity financing as well as debt financing what is the difference here is this will be sharing the advantage of equity financing that is of becoming an owner and the advantage of debt financing that is getting some amount of interest money right so in preference shares after investment the investor will be becoming an owner also and he will be getting some amount of money also for certain time interval so this preference share is more beneficial than those debt finance and equity finance because it shares the advantage of both the previous methods right that is called as preference share after that one more is financial institution now this financial institution you may include some government institutes or government organization that they provide some amount of money to the entrepreneur or they will be motivating or encouraging an entrepreneur to grow his business right by providing uh, some amount of subsidy you may have listened about subsidy that they will be providing some amount of subsidy or in that indirectly they are giving some money to the invest uh, to the entrepreneur to develop his business so there are some government or non government institution they give us that they give the money to the entrepreneur to grow their business that is called as financial institution let us move further one more is venture capitals now what is this venture capitals now here also the entrepreneur will be representing his idea or model to the investor but here the investors will be a previous entrepreneur a person who has developed or who has become entrepreneur by doing the hard work he will be giving the money to the freshers right so here the person who is already become an entrepreneur he will be more experienced so he can see very brightly in the future yeah, or he can see clearly that the this business will grow or not this business model is good or not that he can differentiate very successive successfully right so here the person who is already an entrepreneur he will be in investing the money in the new venture right that is called as a venture capitals then one more is loans again assets now here these loans you may have listened that uh, a person may give or utilize some assets for example he may utilize some uh, asset as uh, land or as his home right so based on his valuation of this home or land he will be getting some amount of money right so after getting the money he will grow his business and after he earns the profit he need to repay that loan and after repaying that loan the asset will be owned by that person right so for certain time of interval that asset is mortgaged right that is called as loans against assets these assets may be valuable things like uh, you can also take example of gold that gold is also valuable thing then home then land so based on those assets a person will be getting money as loan then he need to repay those amount that is loan against assets right then next is lease financing and hire purchasing now these both uh, things are similar to each other but there is a slight different in lease financing there will be two parties one will be investor and second will be uh, an entrepreneur so here what what goes is first party that is called as leaser what he will be doing is he will, he will be giving his asset to the second party and the second party will be paying certain amount of money for certain amount of time interval right so for example second party is uh, paying money for uh, around 50 years uh, after 50 years the time interval is over over and the money is paid in certain time interval so after that interval is over the asset will be going to the first party who is the original owner right that is called as lease financing in her purchase purchasing when the first person 
gives the asset to second person for usage and the second person pays the money for certain time interval but after completion of time interval the asset will be owned by the second party right there is a small difference in lease financing the original owner remains the same but in higher purchasing the first party will be original owner but after the completion of time period say 20 years 30 years 50 years after that completion the owner will be changed and the second party will become the owner of that asset that is called as higher purchasing there is one of one kind of purchasing but in by paying the money in smaller amount for certain time interval that is called as higher purchasing right so these are some of the resources that you can utilize uh, an entrepreneur can utilize to develop his business everybody knows that uh, it is not necessary that uh, each and every person will be having such a large amount of money initially right so he will be needing money at any stage so an entrepreneur must know from where to collect the money to grow his business right so these were the different sources those were related to the finance so that you can get the idea but from where to collect the finance for your business right thank you for listening